Hi. If you want to know how to take control of your life, you're already well ahead of the game. You're already on your way. And here's why I say that. Because in order to take control of your life, you got to do just that. You got to take it, man. You got to take control of your life. No one's going to give it to you. It's not going to happen by osmosis. You're not just going to wake up one morning and everything's going to be okay and be the way you want it. You must take control of your life. And here's how you do it. Number one is you recognize and become aware of your habits. Okay. Understand that 99% of what we do all day long happens on autopilot. Did you brush your teeth this morning? Are you sure? Do you actually remember doing it? <laughs> How many times have we you know, gotten in the car and gone, did I brush my head? Yeah, I did. And you can tell that you did, but you don't remember doing it, right? Or have you ever gotten to work and you don't remember the drive? Right? Well, I mean, think of all the things you did on the way, man. You started the car, you cranked it up, you drove, you looked at the speed limit, you stopped at the red lights, you avoided traffic. You did all these things and you don't remember any of it. It's because it happened on autopilot. That's what humans do. We have autopilots built in. They're called habits and they allow us to live our lives with the ability to focus our conscious mind on one thing at a time while we're also doing other things. I mean, think about how limited we would be if we could literally only do one thing at a time. So if you can talk on the phone while driving in the car, while monitoring traffic and all of that, habits are what allow you to do that. But your habits also control you. You know, do you hit the vending machine every morning at 10 a.m.? You know, do you uh, have a Starbucks coffee every day at $6 a cup, which is affecting your long-term, you know, potential for long-term financial success? You know, are you, are you spending every dime you're making because that's just what you've always done? You know, I mean, are you, you know, do you have a language habit, right? Do you use the kinds of language that turns people off? Because it's, it's just habit. Your habits drive you. You've got to become aware of your habits. So whatever your long-term goals are, right, whether it's financial, business, wellness, health, fitness, sit down and isolate what it is you want and then look at your life from the perspective of how each and every action you're taking throughout the day is taking you either closer to or farther away from that goal and you realize where your habits are beginning to control you. Now, you've got to get a handle around your habits. The next thing that you have to do is you've got to take full responsibility. You've got to take ultimate responsibility for your life. You've got to say, everything that is in my life is of my making. Okay? You've got to say, I am who I am, where I am, what I am, because of the choices and the decisions that I have made. Right or wrong, uh, whether that feels good or not to say that, you have to. And here's the reason why, right? If it's my wife's fault that I'm 20 pounds overweight, then I have to wait for my wife to change before I can lose weight. What if she doesn't? Then I'm screwed, right? <laughs> I'm going to be... I'm going to be overweight forever, right? So you have to take full responsibility. The moment I realize that if I'm 20 pounds overweight, it's because I chose to eat the wrong things or I chose not to exercise, then guess what I can do now? That's right. I can choose to exercise. I can choose to eat different things. And now I'm in control. I have taken control of that part of my life. You know, in 2013, I took control of my financial life. I was tired of struggling. I was tired of of, you know, being uh, running out of money at the end of the month, you know, if, if things needed to happen, like recarpeting the floors. Or, I mean, it was a huge stress bomb because I just didn't have that money set aside for those things. Well, I decided I had enough of that, you know, and, and we latched on to a blueprint that changed our lives forever, man. But I took responsibility. I said, look, the reason why I don't have any money in the bank account is because of the decisions that I've made. So I decided to make different ones. Well, guess what? We changed our whole financial life. I doubled my income that year. I put that blueprint, by the way, that I used right below this video. You can click on that link, click on that button. It'll take you to www.workingwithbrian.com. You can see the blueprint I used to turn my life around in 2013. Anybody can do it. But you've got to take responsibility for your life. And then you've got to get aware of your habits. If you do those two things, you can take back control of your life.